Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on the implosion of the political left. The Anna Kasparian story continues. We've been documenting the TYT hosts' slow march away from the progressive insanity, releasing tons of videos like these, generally titled something along the lines of Anna Kasparian is officially done with the woke left. We've titled the videos as such because that's kind of the sentiment that she gives off, but we've never actually heard the words come out of her mouth herself. She's never said, I'm not a leftist or I'm no longer with the left. That is, until today. You know, as per usual, it takes some time for a lot of these big stories and a lot of this very valuable journalism that's happening in the world of independent journalism to reach young leftists. When you live in a highly censored Reddit bubble, or when your only sources of news are MSNBC and CNN, well, you're simply not going to get the facts, so it takes some time. Time. But eventually, I mean, you can only cover up what's going on for so long, eventually the leftoids are going to wake up to what's really going on, and that seems to be exactly what's happening in real time on TYT during their live shows, as Anna Kasparian realizes that she may have joined forces with some pretty insane people, to say the least. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on as reality continues to slap leftoids in the face. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. Alright folks, so we don't normally do this, we don't normally play a clip this long, but I'm just going to give the stage over to Anna Kasparian. Just take a look at what she had to say. Dismembering a corpse and hiding a corpse after dismembering it. Not bail, not bail eligible, not a serious crime. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like when Joy Behar outlined that case, I was like, she's crazy. This isn't a thing. This isn't real. This isn't real. So I looked it up. It's real, guys. It's real. Listen, if being on the left means supporting this, then I'm not on the left and I'm okay with that. So let me give you the details of the case. It doesn't mean that. Okay, I don't know. Let me Joy give you the Behar's details. On the left. We're all on the left. We don't want people dismembering folks getting released. Only a couple some of do. lunatic Some do, some no, do. I know. I was going to, what I was in the middle of saying is only a couple of lunatic activists yeah. are like, yeah, we're pro dismemberment guys being let go. Okay, whatever. You don't represent the left at all. Dismembered at all. bodies. It's so unfair to put them in prison. Okay, let me give you the details of the actual case, okay? So four people were arrested in New York after body parts were found in Long Island. Okay, dismembered body parts. The victims were, um, you know, two people from Yonkers, older individuals. Suffolk County police say 44 year old Stephen Brown, 38 year old Jeffrey Mackey, 40 year old Amanda Wallace, and 33 year old Alexis Neves or Nieves uh, were charged with concealment of a corpse, tampering with physical evidence, and hindering prosecution. They have not been charged with murder. Prosecutors told a judge. There was so much blood in the pipes, in pipes, sink, shower, and toilet of the Railroad Avenue home in Amityville where the suspects were arrested that it was deemed uninhabitable. Police said they confiscated meat cleavers, butcher knives, flesh, and body parts. Attorneys for Brown and Mackey admitted, admitted that their clients lived in that home where the body parts and all that blood was found, but denied chopping up 59 year old, the 59 year old woman and 53 year old man whose last known address was in Yonkers. Wallace also lived with Brown and Mackey in Amityville. Police said that Knives is homeless. Okay, all four pleaded not guilty. The judge released them without bail. They were fitted with GPS monitoring and must report in person for in person probation and surrender their passports. I I don't care about their passports. Dude, I, guys, guys, like what? Okay, so did further research cuz I just couldn't believe it. Here's more. With 2019 state reforms, mutilation and disposal of murdered corpses are among crimes that are no longer bail eligible. The DA said the four went to barbaric lengths to cover the crime. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, Jank? Uh, well, what are we doing? What are we doing? Someone tell me what the F are we doing? Yeah, look, no one signed up for this. I don't know how the hell any of these laws passed. I went to every progressive conference there was over the last 20 years. I never heard a single person saying, why don't we let the actual criminals go? Hey, if someone butchers someone and, and, and chops them up into little pieces, let's do the kind of criminal justice reform where they would be able to walk out free. Yeah, come like, at me, come at me 
right now and tell me I'm the bad guy because I want these people who dismembered corpses and tried to conceal the evidence in prison. Come at me and tell me I'm the bad guy. Come at me. I don't I, look. I don't look, guys. Insane. What, you guys are insane. Anyone who thinks this is okay is insane. And everyone else in New York has to suffer the consequences of this with random bag checks at the subway by National Guard troops. She said it. She said, if this is what it means to be on the left, then I'm not on the left. And that statement right there, that appeals to me personally, because I had a similar experience in my younger years. You know, there's certain things that you simply can't reconcile. There's certain things that just cannot be justified. This is one of them. A lot of people are surprised, like, oh, how's that happening? Is it really happening? Is it fake news? It must be some sort of phony narrative. No, it's happening, and it has been happening. Once again, leftoids seem late to the party. This is what Soros Democrats have been doing for a decade at this point. It's now just becoming obvious to leftists. Let's stick to New York, for instance. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has been implementing social justice reforms in the Big Apple for the last two years. Alvin Bragg promises not to prosecute theft to establish racial equity balance and crime of poverty. A lot of people don't know this, but Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has downgraded over 50% of felonies to misdemeanors. I mean, it sounds almost unbelievable, but it really is happening. Even PolitiFact fact-checked that statement made by Ron DeSantis back on March 20th, 2023. And here's the PolitiFact truth meter In 2020, the first year Alvin Bragg served as Manhattan District Attorney, his staff downgraded 50 52% of felonies that were screened to misdemeanors. I've been saying it forever, the Democrat party is the party of crime, it's the party of criminals. Leftoids love to pretend as if they represent the working class, they represent the little guy. But lately it seems as though the favored Democrat demographic isn't women, it isn't men, it isn't minority groups, it's not union workers, it's straight up criminals. Leftists seem to be working tirelessly to get criminals out of prison, back onto the streets to reoffend again, all in the name of racial justice and criminal justice reform. It's the most insane thing I've seen in my 31 years of living. I mean, for Pete's sakes, four people were arrested in New York City for dismembering two bodies, and they were simply let out of jail. No bail to even be paid. Why, you ask? Well, because bail is racist, there is no justifying these policy stances. Democrats prioritize virtue signaling over criminals in an attempt to seem morally superior, in a weird fake ass attempt to seem morally superior, but really all they're doing is harming people. Like I've been saying forever, the revolving door of the leftist justice system, criminals go in and they come right out, right back on the street, ready to reoffend once again. We've seen Alvin Bragg's office release violent criminals back on the streets 10, 20, 30 times to get re-arrested over and over again, the same repeating cycle, the only people here who seem to benefit are the criminals, at the detriment of everybody else doing the right thing. Wake up and smell the coffee, the left has completely lost it. They've gone off the deep end, there's no going back from here. The more time goes on, the more these insane leftist progressives take control of left-wing politics. If you're an individual who identifies as left or center-left, and you're still trying to convince yourself that you're on the side of the good guys, maybe it's time to rethink your worldview, maybe it's time to jump ship before these pink-haired pseudo-intellectual academics steer that ship off in a thousand-foot waterfall. It seems like Anna Kasparian already has the life jacket on, and she's looking for the emergency escape vessel. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got. Just short, quick commentary. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.